you guys. I promised you a tour of Huntington's Glam Nursery, so here we go. So here we go. And we are entering her room. And I'm gonna do a quick pan. That way you can get the whole room before I start highlighting any specific areas. All right, so I'm just going to try to make this video as abbreviated as possible because YouTube only gives me a certain amount of time and I tend to be long-winded. But I made this video because when I first discovered I was pregnant, I came to YouTube for some inspiration on a glam baby nursery and I really found nothing, honestly, nothing that really spoke to me and what my idea of glam was. So I'm like, you know what, why not make your own um, glam nursery and put it online? Maybe you can inspire other people that have been looking for glam ideas and haven't found anything. So this is gonna be my version of what I think glam is. And I'm gonna close the door that way no one disturbs us and we don't get any feedback from out there. So um, I'm just gonna start with the most obvious, the uh, mural wall. And most of the items in this room came from Amazon or came from Wayfair. This mural is an Amazon mural. It's um, measured at 100 by 144, six panels, and it's a self-adhesive peel and stick. I did it myself, so it's not perfect. I will admit um, I do a lot of murals as a part of my business, but this one... It's not perfect once again because I had to get on the ladder by myself and I was trying to be safe and I couldn't go up too high. I couldn't put my hands up too high. So there are some areas where you can see seams, but um, I love it. It's really soft and it's muted and this mural can grow with her um, for several years to come. I mean, this is going to be her baby wall. This could be her teenager wall to switch out some of the pieces in here and this room will transition as she goes through different stages of life. Um, we got her initials from Amazon once again, HBC. I love the scrolling. They came in um, our unfinished wood and we just spray painted them with the Rust-Oleum um, gold metallic spray paint. I put them on the wall with my Ryobi nail gun. So that was pretty easy. They come off really easy. They won't destroy the mural or the integrity of the wall so we can move them as she gets older. If she puts a bed here and her headboard is going to be where the um, initials will be. So I love that custom piece of her room. And then we'll just go straight into her crib, which is from Wayfair. It's a muted gold. Um, when I first decided to do this room, I definitely had to have a gold crib. Even before I knew the rest of the color scheme, I knew that the crib was gonna be gold. We had the picture molding put up. Uh, we painted the room all white as you can see and this paint funny thing it's not an actual tint it's not a color it's just the bare paint it's the satin finish and it's the uh ultra white uh base so there's no tint to it so it's just a base color but it turned out really really well and it'll make it very easy to do touch-ups as she grows up and you know her little fingerprints get on the walls and things of that nature we'll move over here to this chair this chair has been in different parts of my home, but it's eventually found its way into Huntington's room. This is from Safavaya. It is a reptile embossed print, high sheen, um, gold grommets. I really love it. It's a very elegant chair. The pillow that we have on it is a 100% Mongolian fur pillow. Uh, this pillow right here, this little roll pillow, is actually a part of the bedding from her crib, which is from Amazon. It's from Glenna Jean. And this bedding, while being very, very extra, I'm absolutely in love with. I love the little satin bows on it. I love the tool top and bottom. I love the beautiful rosettes on her bed skirt uh, and the wrinkled silk. I just love everything about it. It's so feminine, but it's so glam. Her sheets in here, this is mulberry silk. This was also from Amazon. And the bumper, I just love the texture of it. I love the way it looks. I just love everything about this crib set that we got from Glenna Jean. So um, if you're having a little girl and 
fancy is your decor taste. I think this would suit you quite well. And before I get a whole bunch of people that say, you know, this stuff is not safe, the babies need a bare crib, I, I completely agree. So all of these items will be removed before she is actually born or before she actually sleeps in the crib, I should say, excuse me. So where we have her changing station with her six drum mirror dresser from Wayfair. Uh, this changing station is kind of a semi-custom project that I was able to do. I bought this um, changing pad table or changing pad from Amazon and it came in its original color gray, which I wanted. I didn't want too much um, golds or whites. I wanted to tone it down. So I opted to keep this gray because it went with the um, dresser. And the only thing I did was I ordered her name, Huntington. I got that from Amazon. Once again, that came in a raw wood and I could spray paint that with a Rust-Oleum gold spray paint. And then we have these florals that I got from Amazon and they were marketed as headband um, decorations or DIYs for headbands or whatever else you wanna use them for. But I decided that I needed to fancy up the changing um, station because it was kind of masculine looking. So I just used my Ryobi nail gun and affixed these flowers to it. And I love the way it came out. It just gave it a pop of femininity and that's really what I wanted. And then moving on to the pad we have in the changing station. This is also is from Amazon. Um, the plastic's still on it, as you can hear, because she's not born yet. I'm going to keep everything wrapped up until she's actually born. But the pad that we have, um, the cover that we have, is actually the satin cover. And all of her sheets and pillows will be satin as to try to minimize that little bald spot on the back of baby's heads. So we got this from Amazon as well. And this comes in pink, gray, and I have a, a white one. So we'll I'll alternate between those three colors for this changing pad. And I topped her mirror dresser just with this rabbit fur runner that I had from Christmas decorating just to protect the mirror um, from the wood from getting damaged or broken. And that turned out really, really well. It added another texture to the room and also brought in some more softness. So I really, really love this rabbit fur runner that we put underneath her changing station. The changing station will be complete without a diaper genie. So she has a soft baby pink one. Nothing special about it, but it goes exactly where it needs to be, right next to the changing station. Make it really, really convenient when we are changing her. And if we go into her drawers, I have everything set up as to where, once again, it's all functional, it's all convenient. So we have her diapers and her wipes in here. And then on this side, if we need to change her onesies, this is the onesie drawer. And don't judge me, this onesie drawer is not folded. None of these things are washed. Once they get washed, they'll all be folded nice and neat and organized. But for right now, I just wanted to put them well, there we go. That way I know um, how the um, nursery would actually function. We have these uh, two wall mounted. We had to mount them for her safety. Um, white and gold shelves. These actually came from Amazon as well. And they're just for extra space. I wanted to do built-ins um, around the windows, but we nixed that idea at the last moment, just opted for these shelves, just because I just didn't want to have any wasted space and I needed more storage. So I'm like, if we go up the wall, we'll get more utilization out of these two areas than just putting something flat on the um, ground. So we have two matching shelves. On each of these shelves, she just has, you know, different knickknacks, different mementos, gifts from her shower. Of course, her Looney baby monitor from Pampers is on this shelf. Um, one of my favorite gifts was her um, Honest Company baby diaper cake. I love that. A little pearl jewelry box we got. I've gifted her that I'm really grateful for. Teddy bears, um, cleansing products, things of that nature. Lots of time is really, really, really a nice brand. So I appreciate that gift. She has her baby book down there that I'm about to start pretty soon. Um, I had to bring in my doll. That doll is you know, very old. We won't tell you how old, but that was mine when I was a baby. And my mother, luckily, she kept that for me and just re-gifted it to me recently so I could put it in the Huntington's room. So I love that. And the same thing on here. We try to keep the decor the same. Um, pictures of me as a child, the way she could, you know, see where she came from. You know, she has a layout set that she was gifted her uh, cards from her shower. And then we have some of her shoes displayed over here until she's born and actually starts wearing them. And I'll transfer those into the closet. Um, a diaper bag that she'll use when she gets older. And then we have this, you're probably wondering why I have this, you know, baby shower decoration 
in her room, but her godmother made this for her and I thought it was really, really cute. Then we just have this small collection of bows that I decided to throw on, on the wall. I'm not even sure if she'll wear the bows. Hopefully she will. You know, some little girls like them, some don't. But I got the placard and all the lanyards and all the bows. This is all from Amazon. And me and her brother Jaden assembled this. Um, the lanyards, if I get a little bit closer, they're pink and they're white polka dots. And then the bows come in a different, you know, range of gradient colors. So I kind of put them in there um, in the way I thought they should go. So I really, really love that. And then this Venetian wall mirror is actually one of my great pickups. I got this off of the Facebook marketplace for only $20, you guys. And I wanted to accent this wall without cluttering it too much because I thought that the uh, picture mold was just enough. We didn't need to do anything else. It brought a level of class and sophistication to the room without having to compete once again with the major mirror wall, the major accent wall in the room. And I also put a um, age brass light fixture or light plate on this wall to give it another touch of class and to tie into that whole glam theme but all our other plates in the room were just simple white because i just didn't want too much going on so this part of the video i've turned off the lights that way we can focus on the bling on this custom corner store that i made for her i just used um a third drape and i used some diamond appliques from amazon once again i pleated the ends of each one of the cornice board. I wanted to pleat the whole thing all the way across, but that was taking forever and it wasn't coming out right. So I'm like, okay, let me just pleat the ends and call it a day. I have my contract to actually construct the frame or the base out of um, plywood and he mounted it to the wall for me. So I love that. So we're gonna turn the light back on a little bit and see it in a different light. So there we go her custom corner board. I got these butter soft velvet curtains from Amazon. They're from Half Price Drapes and I love it. That's all I have in my house is Half Price Drapes. And I typically, if you follow me on any of my other social media, I typically don't mix drapery panels on a single rod. And this is just one single crystal finial rod as you see. And I had Burke make sure there were um, spaces on the end that her finials stuck out that you could see them. But um, without these shears in the middle, it just didn't look finished to me. Putting these shears in the middle, it um, brought the whole window look together for me. It made it look complete. It made it look done. And, you know, when we're actually over there utilizing the changing table, we have um, curtain tie backs behind Before the curtain. Before we go, I want to touch on her um, closet. And we got this um, semi-custom closet system. Let me turn it like this. Um, from Wayfair. And we had it installed by a professional. Has the four drawers, as you can see. Has four shelves and three hanging rods for her clothes. And I just love it. It still leaves enough floor space that we can put bigger stuff like her pack and play. We have extra, um, you know, baby care items in here. Wipes, a lot of Mistella. That was a big brand we got. A lot of people gave that for her shower. So all of her extras are in here. All of her diapers down there, her boppy pillows. And you guys, how adorable are these hangers that I got for her? Pearl hangers down here gold hangers up there and then we have the black hangers on this side for all her black items so everything has its space everything is functional and i can think and you know breathe in this room i know where everything is so i really really love it so before i go i just want to do one final pan and oh how did i almost forget that the light her daddy picked out for her isn't it beautiful gorgeous right i love it so yeah this is my baby's room you guys and I hope you guys love it as much as I do, as much as we do. These are all her car seats, so they'll be going once we mount them in the cars and we'll get have some more functional space in here. So, yeah, you guys have a good day.